What up, Mo Squad? Welcome to the update. I'm your host, Professor Mo, and this is episode 14. That's right, we have 14 episodes. We talked about a lot of stuff. We had a couple interviews with amazing streamers. Um, I am a very small streamer and content creator at this moment, but I want to talk about some stuff really quick. I'm really thankful for streaming because I got this chance to get to know a lot of people, get to know some amazing people, and I made a lot of friends already. Ashi, Kikilo, CV, Mr. Steal Your Dad, Thornton Smash, Rocky Uniada. I'm really thankful for all of you guys. Thank you so much for being in the show. Also, Benuza is one of my awesome friends. Uh, she's gonna be in the show sometime soon, so we just have to figure out the time. Thank you so much, y'all. And thank you so much for watching this episode right now. I appreciate all of you. Let's get started. On Thursday, Sony live streamed State of Play. It was full of announcements, gameplays, and trailers. I'm here to talk about it in this episode. But first of all, my Instagram is gonna show up here. Go ahead and give it a follow if you want. We have a Discord server, join the community. Link is in the description down below. I'll be more than happy to see you over there. Go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Stop by if you can. We're gonna have a great time together. And if you are wondering about my index finger, I cut it at work. It's got three stitches. It looks kind of gnarly. Uh, I won't be able to play video game for a while, I guess. Uh, but I might be able to just use these three fingers. Anyway, we'll see. All right, let's cut to the chase and talk about Sony's State of Play. Last year, Sony's State of Play stream showed the first look of a new Five Nights at Freddy's game called Security Bridge. While the announcement was more or less just a sneak peek teaser trailer of the newest entry in popular Frightful franchise, Thursday's State of Play stream gave us a better look plus further confirmation that Five Nights at Freddy's Security Bridge is coming to PlayStation 5 this year. Good news, this game will be available on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 and PC. Lately I've been playing a lot of horror games so I'm really excited for this game. I will definitely play Five Nights at Freddy's Security Bridge. This year we are going to see an amazing kung fu game called Sifu developed by Absolver. The trailer for Sifu reveals the main character, a muscular kung fu student, bowing and stretching in front of an altar. After that, it then cuts to non-stop action sequences that shows the martial art artists jabbing and kicking their way through a hallway filled with opponents. Sifu looks to blend challenging martial arts combat with the theme and style of classic kung fu films in a single player that tells a revenge story. Kenner Bridge of Spirits is an upcoming action-adventure game developed and published by Ember Lab. The story follows Kenna, a young spirit guide who uses her magical abilities to help deceased people move from the physical to spirit pool. New trailer came out at Sony's event. Now we got a deeper look at the gameplay, new locations, and some of the characters you will meet on your journey. You can pre-order the standard edition for $39.99 and the deluxe edition for $49.99. We don't know the release date yet, but apparently Kenna Bridge of Spirits is coming this summer for PS4, PS5, and PC. I'm really excited for this title and I think I will definitely play it. Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming to PlayStation 5 alongside an update version called Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. The updated release will add new content and new visual enhancements. Shown during Thursday's State of Play stream, Integrate adds new story content to the first game in Square Enix's multi-part Final Fantasy VII Remake. The PS5 version has all the technical and graphical improvements one would expect from the upgrade. But Integrate adds a new part to the story featuring Yuffie, a character we don't normally see in the story until after the gang leaves Midgar. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time gets a PS5 upgrade in March 2021. The PlayStation 5 brings its about time to new heights with unparalleled visual support in 4K at 60fps. Crank up your speakers and stream in the crisp, dynamic, enhanced 3D audio. And it doesn't just look and sound great, it feels great too. Feel the DNA change in objects hit by Neocortex's blaster and feel the grip of Tana's hookshot. Solar Ash is a game about movement through a dangerous world filled to the brim with exploration opportunities. Players will be tasked with trying to save the planet. And during the most recent state of play, Sony showed off more about the game, including enemy encounters, traversal movements, and so much more. From massive sentinels with their elongated bodies and hungry appetites to the smaller enemies players will face, 
Solar Ash blends beauty, danger, and an adventure spirit for those looking for a new world to get lost in. This game is coming in 2021, we don't know the exact release date. Outworld Soulstorm is a modern revamp of the 1998 game Outworld Abe's Exodus, the second game in the franchise. It starts series protagonist Abe in his persistence battle against a heartless corporation that's insulted his people. Soulstorm will be free on PS5 for PlayStation Plus members from April 6th to May 3rd. The PC version is available to pre-order for $50 right now via Epic Games Store. Knockout City is a team-based competitive multiplayer video game whose gameplay rules resembles dodgeball. The player's goal is to attack enemies from the opposition team by knocking them out with a ball. There are several types of balls in the game including the moon ball which allows the player holding the ball to jump higher and bomb ball which is a ticking time bomb that explodes on impact. A player can throw another player as a ball. Knockout City will launch on May 21st, 2021 on all the platforms in this beta. Everyone can get a free trial of the full title and can continue playing it for $19.99. I think this game is gonna be pretty popular when it is released, um, we'll see. Deathloop is an upcoming action-adventure game developed by Arkane Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. Arkane Studios and Bethesda Softworks showed a new trailer for the PlayStation 5 exclusive Deathloop during Sony's State of Play online event on Thursday. The trailer is heavy on gameplay action, freestyle gun, knife combat backed by bizarre power is only part of the picture Deathloop is offering. Players may go through any of the game's level in any orders they wish, but the overall idea is to figure out how to stop the game's repeating time loop. The game is to be released for PlayStation 5 and Windows on May 21st, 2021. Returnal is a third-person shooter psychological horror video game featuring roguelike elements. Set in a futuristic science fiction setting, the player controls Selene, a space pilot equipped with a suit and armed high-tech weapons, who is stranded on an alien planet and stuck in a time loop. After every death, the pilot is resurrected, following a pattern of traversing across foreign environments and combating extraterrestrial entities with growing visions in an ever-changing world. That means after each death, map will change and your enemies will show up in a new spot. So it's gonna be a whole new challenge. This is everything, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and don't forget to like the video and leave a comment for me down below. Also, we're gonna celebrate 200 subscribers sometime soon with a giveaway. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Thank you so much Mole Squad for watching. I love you all. Peace out, Professor Mo.